South Australia and Victoria. Redbacks winning the toss, electing to bat. And it's now officially clicked over to 10.30, so we can get underway. So Boland to Boulder Hunt. And right on line, a little hint of a way swing there. Here's his first delivery. And off the thick edge, down to the boundary for four. So whether or off the mark, straight away in the second half of his shield season. Makes a lot of sense as it's none for four. Edging, and that goes down through the gap between third slip and gully. And Hunt is off the mark. He's edged and taken. What a grab. Sam Harper going with the one hand. Henry Hunt largely untroubled. Fended at a full ball. And he's on his way. Just straightened on him and Harper juggles one and clutches it to the chest. Victoria strike early. Hunt's got to go. One for 13. That was something out of nothing. That's in the slot to drive and he puts it away for four. Lovely shot through cover out to the eastern side of Adelaide Oval. So Carter, his first boundary. That's a good looking drive and it beats the bowler down through mid off. Now how quick's the outfield down there? It's quick enough. That'll be four. So Weatherall his first boundary since. Rightly or wrongly. Shorter. That one beats both catching men at cover. Weatherall pierces the gap beautifully. Um, that's out. Bowling wrapped on the pads. This should be out. It is. That look dead in front. And again, something out of nothing for Victoria. Jake Carter's got to go. Misjudging the length. Last ball of the Scott Boland over. Is full. It's hit on the pad. This is close as well. It's gone. Head new. He knew straight away, Boland's a double strike. And would you believe it, after cruising, the Redbacks have been absolutely rocked by the golden man of the Australian summer, Scott Boland. He's picked up his second. Here's the next one. Shot punched away back with a point. That'll race away to the end of the boundary. So good shot from Weatherall, and he's getting close to that half century. So Weatherall, one required for the half century. And he picks it up with a lovely cut shot out to the members' stand boundary for four. So Weatherall, his first shield 50 of the season and a much-needed one. 17 for him now for South Australia. He's also got 700s and he's played very well this morning. Yeah, just a bit of width there by Johnny Holland. Actually looked like an alarm ball that... Flicked and flicked beautifully off leg stump. Timing to perfection. Raced away to the short boundary... Weatherall up and over, gets every piece of it short, not up to the task. And well, short ball, Weatherall gets a glove and gets four. No one that fine. Well spotted, that one clubs back down the ground, beats the man at mid on. Drew helps himself to a boundary. Well, he's. Mine was Ryan Harris. He's also the last person here for six. <laughs> Weatherall goes. There's a statement of intent. Six. Takes it on, dispatches it. <laughs> Weatherald flashes, that'll be four. Beautiful shot by Jake Weatherald there. That one cut away. Beautiful Beats shot. the men at backward point. That's gonna run away and hit the rope. Daniel Drew, well played. Got a bit of width. That's Back down the ground, intent. that's a beautiful shot. Will it go all the way? Long chase is on, and it has. Well, wow, that's brilliantly played from Daniel Drew. So Weatherall, 97. Punches that one. Wide of mid-wigan. It's out to the boundary. It'll be four. The 100 for Weatherall. His first this season. And what delight it is for the left-hander. He's had a rough run this season, averaging just 20. But he's done the job today, and he's delighted. Yep. Last ball the over. Oh, good-looking shot. That's four. Square driven. Out of the boundary. So Daniel Drew... That one slapped through cover, full and brilliantly put away from Daniel Drew. Being out of form. Drew on 49. Turns it away. That's the half century for Daniel Drew. And he'll have a drink, a well-earned drink. He reaches a half century here at the Adelaide Oval. Pulled rank on the rest of the Victorians and said, I'll take the shade. Full toss. <laughs> slapped and gets the treatment. You can't dish that up at first class level to a bloke on 118 and not expect to find the fence. Just turns that off the hip. That'll run away. Handy boundary for Daniel Drew. 
Another one flicked away. And four as well. First ball. Oh. A leading edge. And he's gone. Would you believe it? Again, Scott Boland. Something from nothing. Weatherall looking down the leg side. Closed the face of the bat. That was inches down the leg side. Had no business going through the offside. And Goes for that. And gets it away back with a point. And that races to the fence or to the rope. It doesn't affect it. That shot, that's beautifully timed mm -hmm. away through mid wicket and will it race to the boundary not quite they're running for three they should run for four here easily comfortable four so you don't see that too often these oh it's nicely driven out through cover point and the outfield not as quick as we've seen but it's going to still make the rope so another boundary for drew he might be a bit underdone and that is edged oh and God. through the gully might have been through the hands of the fielder there sutherland we'll have another look on the replay but Kerry gets a couple a little bit of disappointment there on the face of Sutherland. It might have been a chance. Yeah, not the greatest ball here, but Kerry finds the edge and um, whether or not Sutherland picked it up fully off the bat, but... And he's bowled this time. Almost a carbon copy of the ball before. Would you believe it? Kerry, two loose drives in two balls. He pays the ultimate price. He's on his way. Yeah, just a loose drive again from Carey and around the wicket, Scotty Boland has found a, a length where it's sniffing back and time out with, uh, with, with young players. That's a full toss and Drew says, thank you very much. One bounce, four. Bit of shape. Drew, crisp, four. How about that? Moves into the 80s. Gee, you just wonder where the triple figures... Edges this time, he'll pick up another boundary. Doesn't matter how you get him. Four more to the tally, 86. He goes back down the ground and he takes four. Well, it's still on. Daniel Drew, 96. He's got three balls to go. Why not try and take a wicket? Here we go. He's up to the task. It ends a brilliant day. At the Adelaide Oval for South Australia, five for 280. It belonged to Jake Weatherall, but taking centre stage tomorrow, Daniel Drew, 96.